Hello friends and welcome to Review Maza and today's our topic of the video is of what exactly I should do with the waste water that is coming out from the RO water purifiers. So friends lot of people ask me this question that what should we do with the water that is coming out of the water purifier through the drain water system. What should we do because almost the ratio of rejection is 4 is to 1 that means 4 liters of water is wasted for 1 liter of water in uh, in that case so most many people ask me that what should be done with the waste water that is coming out because too much of water is being wasted to recover some amount of water but as we know we all know that where there is uh, no other way of purification of your water if you are using to if you're using bovel water or if you're using well water then you are most of the time dependent on using a RO water purifier and the most biggest drawback of a RO water purifier is that it rejects 4 liters of water behind every 1 liter product water friends so as you can see this is what is coming the product water feed as you can see what is the pressure and this is the reject water feed as you can you can rightly identify the difference of the flow the pressure that is coming and as this is a new water purifier the pressure is more the product water is more but as the degradation of the membrane happens the product water starts uh, reducing and the reject water starts to increase Yes friends, so let us start what we can do with this water, reject water. First I will show you the product water TDS that I am recovering. I am using a CSM80 membrane. I like that membrane and I use it. So the TDS of the product water is 21. Now let us check the reject water TDS. Okay, the reject water TDS is 116. Uh, so it's I can use this water for uh, washing clothes also because the TDS is not more. It's it is 100 TDS uh, in the reject side. I'll show you the pH reading of. I'm sorry. I'll show you the pH reading. can't use the cap of the pH meter because the cap has to be rinsed or should I say the cap must contain a pH neutral solution every time so I will have to again change the sponge and the cap solution ok so we are checking the pH reading of this water this is the product water that is 7.8 7.9 this is a good sign alkaline water so now i'll try to check the ph of the reject water what is does it say Okay, the pH is showing a reading of around 7.4 that means it is also not so much acidic it's also alkaline so it's okay the water that coming from the reject side is also okay so I can use this water for plants also I can use this water for washing my clothes also or washing my floor also the reject water I can use just because the water is not acidic as well as the TDS is also under control so I can use this reject water for washing the clothes for uh, washing my uh, I can put this water into the washing machine or I can use this water to plants water my plants or I can use this water even to clean my floor this reject water 
I can use just because you need to check whether your reject water pH is acidic or alkaline or it's normal if it is normal you can use it if it if it is alkaline you cannot use it for washing clothes uh, your washing machine will start oxidizing or it may start uh, sorry it will start to accumulate the solid particles inside your washing machine uh, washing machines uh, this thing bin or uh, even it may start accumulating your particles in uh, on the inside of your washing machine so if the water is alkaline or acidic if it is acidic you cannot use it to water it to plants because you will start killing your plants because of the acid levels so if it is under the limits of uh, if it is not highly alkaline you can use it uh, if it is not highly acidic you can use it to water your plants if it is highly alkaline you can water your plants no problem alkalinity does not uh, disturb the plants growth but uh, you can't use it for washing clothes so this is the thing friends so i personally i save water during testing also and during my home uh, using my home or water purifier also i recover i collect all the rejected water and i use it wherever i can i use it in my washing machine i use it to plant my trees and i basically i do not like wasting water so i i, I also request you people also that please check uh, and stop wasting the drain water if you can plant if your water is not acidic please give it to your plants use it anywhere you can uh, you can't drink it you cannot use for washing your utensils you should not use because uh, after ro rejection the vessels might also catch up the uh, minerals that are rejected so better you should not use for washing your utensils but yes you can use it for watering your plants and other things washing your tiles so friends please tell me how are you using you waste water how are you trying to save the water and in this summer let us at least we we should think about this thing that wasting 4 liters of water to collect 1 liter of water is really not a good idea so you should utilize your reject water thank you very much friends please like and subscribe my videos and please share thank you very much